Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video is something really special and unique. It's the HP EliteBook 855 G7. Yes, this is from their business line. A little bit of departure from what I've normally reviewed, but this is packing something pretty unique inside, and so you're gonna wanna watch to find out. So, let's roll. So I've been waiting all summer for this unit to come out. Uh, it's, it was supposed to be out in July and we finally got it now into October. But this is the G7 series, so the seventh generation of the Elite Book. And this one is the AMD variant. And so I'm really excited to share some of the unique features. So a couple different things that are unique about this compared to the G6 is a small and lighter design. You know, they basically say that about every kind of notebook that they come out, but you can lift anywhere on the notebook. It's really solid all the way through. Uh, the keyboard is a quieter uh, keyboard design, so super, super quiet. You know, HP makes some of the, the best keyboards as it relates to business notebooks. So the other unique design aspect on this notebook, take a look at this. Look at these bezels. Look how thin these are, even the top and the chin, all incredibly small. You know, what you'd expect, you want something thin and light, but this unit is a 15 inch notebook, full, full keyboard, and this whole thing under four pounds. That is impressive. And that's not all, there's, there's even more cool features. So let's take a look under the hood and take a look at some of the specs on this unit. This features the AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 4750U. So what does that mean? Well, that's a eight core 16 thread processor that uh, goes and boosts up to 4.1 gigahertz. That is something truly unique and I haven't seen anything in a business lineup yet. In fact, I think HP is one of the few mainstream manufacturers that are putting their AMD chips or AMD's chips into their uh, business lineup, which I'm really excited for. This is also packing two eight gig modules, so 16 gigs total in a dual channel configuration at 3200 megahertz. This also has a 512 gig NVMe SSD, audio by Bang and Olufsen, so that's two stereo speakers. It also has a three multi-array microphone, which should be really good for noisy environments, being able to do noise cancellation. Features a 43 watt hour lithium ion battery. And what's nice is that the, the components on here, very easy to get at. In fact, looking underneath the unit, it is fairly easy to gain access. Only five screws. These are captive screws as well. When you take it off the panel, they're not uh, getting away from you. They actually stay within the, uh, the unit itself. And then the memory modules themselves are upgradable. So uh, that's really cool. Now this has some unique venting design. Of course we have the intake down here. And then what it does is actually exhausts out the, uh, the hinge here. And it's the hinge in, I don't know if you can see this, but I'll get a close up shot. It comes out via here. That's such a unique design. I've never seen that before. So that's uh, really cool to see. Now the screen itself, that goes back 170 degrees. One finger open, which is nice, but 170 degrees. So that's, uh, that's really good. Now the screen itself, this one is a 1080p screen. However, it is only 250 nits and only 45% of the NTSC. So that's the uh, color gamut. Now, there is higher uh, nits brightness. There's actually a panel that goes all the way up to 1000 nits, which I'm excited. I wanna bring that one in because I think that one will be stellar. Overall, I find that the coloring is just a little muted. Having it next to the MSI GE75, which I know is not a comparable, but from a screen standpoint, you can definitely tell that the colors on the GE75 really pop. All right, so let's go over the IO on this unit. So on the left-hand side, we actually have our Kingston lock, our USB 3.1 Gen 1 with charging, and our combo headphone port, 
as well as a smart card reader. And then on the right hand side, we have two USB C alt mode, one USB 3.1 Gen 1, our HDMI, and of course our barrel power plug. All right, so let's talk about the battery on this unit. So this does have a three cell, 53 watt hour battery. I was actually able to get up to 12 hours of battery. I mean, 12 solid hours using the device, which is the highest I've ever tested which is very impressive. That's all day battery. So you can really uh, rest assured that, hey, when you're using it all day long, uh, you're gonna have the power that you need. That's not all. The charging capability on this is you can get 50% of the battery in just 30 minutes. That's impressive, basically a rapid charge. So just think, 30 minutes gets you another effectively six to seven hours of battery life. I have to say that is some impressive technology in here. Now, the one thing that uh, had hit the news wire as of late is HP's battery swelling. So if you are gonna be using this all the time and you're gonna have it plugged in, you will want to adjust the battery settings so that it only charges up to 80% because that's the optimal spot for lithium ion batteries. So just be aware of that. Um, otherwise you could get uh, some swelling and it does reduce your battery longevity. So just be aware of that. Some of the other benchmarks I ran, I went through Geekbench 5, single core performance is 1124 on battery, clocks down a little bit to 611, and in multi-core, 6267, and on battery, 4960. Now, comparatively, with a eight core, 16 thread, mega, mega processor from Intel, that's a 108758, that's what was in the MSI G75, that consumes like 90 to 100 watts of power. Single core, 1254. Multi-core, 8334. Just think of the power efficiency just in that spread. That is something truly unique. Uh, Nova Bench, this came in as a general score of 2757, uh, the GE 75 Raider at 3507. So in Cinebench R20, this came in at 3287 and pretty much is able to edge out any of the 10750Hs that are up there. Keep in mind, that is a much more powerful processor. So this does have some good legs. So how's the camera in this? Well, let's take a look. So the webcam, not too bad, still 720p. Also features uh, IR, so Windows Hello, which is pretty sweet. Um, it also has a three microphone mic array. So really good for background noise and being able to cancel that out. Also has a webcam shutter, so that's nice. But overall, you know, still pretty grainy. Overall quality is meh, so you be the judge. It also features Windows Hello, which is pretty cool. And it also has a fingerprint reader. So this thing has it packed in terms of uh, biometrics and ability to log into this unit. So let's talk about the touchpad. Touchpad is a glass precision touchpad. It also has a uh, nub for those that uh, still like that feature. And of course you have your two buttons on the other side. This also features the buttons down here. So you really get best of both worlds. It really kind of appease uh, both uh, camps as it relates to uh, the pointing device. So overall impressions on this unit? Well, I have to say this is quite nice. One, you know, I usually find that a 15 inch is a little bit too big. Um, I'd probably go with either the 14 or the 13 inch variant myself for those that are on the go. However, this, is a really, really nice design. I think uh, it definitely has hit a sweet spot. The fact that you got some great premium material. So in terms of the chassis itself, this is an all aluminum design, so really nice. Uh, I don't find this to be uh, picking up very many fingerprints either, so uh, quite nice from that perspective. So in terms of audio in this, it does feature the Bang and Olufsen speakers. Uh, they're pretty tiny, they are stereo, Take a listen, let me know what you think.
So of course they they lack the depth. Um, you know, just basically the the story of all laptop speakers it seems. So uh, it's okay, I'll get you by. But uh, if you want uh, to really pump the beats, you're going to need something different. So let's talk about final thoughts on this unit. Well, I have to say I really like it. I think the the design on this, the ultra thin bezels. I think there's a couple different specs that you can make to really make this uh, unit shine. So I'm going to hope to bring in some of those units in the future just to see some of those advanced features that uh, maybe some people like. However, I think if you're looking for a, uh, an, a premium Ultrabook in the business lineup, HP has really put together a great unit. Uh, coupled that with the AMD Ryzen, it really has a winner on its hands here. And the other thing I forgot to mention is this goes through a rigor of tests. This is a uh, mil 810 spec, so it does drop tests, dust, like it really gets put through its paces. So uh, the fact of the matter is, is you can rest knowing that this unit has, uh, has really been designed to uh, be on the go. And uh, you know, when you're spending a little bit of a premium to have something that you can rely on, hey, I think this one is definitely worth it. So that wraps up the video on the HP EliteBook 855 G7. Let me know what you think below. Of course, put a link to this notebook in the description. And of course, as always, please like and subscribe to the channel. Love to hear from you. And until next time, bye for now.